Hello students, we are solving the ID Math EA AGL past paper questions and currently we are solving the ID Math EA AGL May 2023 paper 2 time zone 1 past paper. Today we will be solving the question number 4 of this paper and you will be getting the links to the first 3 questions of this paper and the previously solved questions of the other papers in form of playlists in my channel NS Online Math Tutoring Classes. And this is a common question common for both the SL and the HL streams. For the HL stream it is question number 5 and for the HL stream it is question number 4. So without any further delay let us start with the answering of this question. The maximum mark is 5. And the question says the company manufactures metal tubes for bicycle frames. The diameters of the tubes D millimeter are normally distributed with mean 32 and standard deviation sigma. The interquartile range of the diameters is 0 0.28. Find the value of sigma. Okay, and this is the rough sketch of the normal distribution curve. And you see this point is the mean value, which is 32, and this is the first quartile, and this is the third quartile. It may be called as the lower quartile and this may be called as the upper quartile. Okay. And Q3 minus Q1, I, Q, R or the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. This is equal to 0 0.28 given. Okay. So since the normal distribution curve is symmetrical, totally symmetrical about the mean, therefore, the mean is equal to the median is equal to the mode for the normal distribution curve. Okay? So median is also equal to 32. And because it is symmetrical, the portion between the Q1 and Q2, this is Q2, the median. Okay, so The portion between Q1 and Q2 will be equal to the same as the portion between Q2 and Q3. So we can divide the 0 0.28 by 2 and we will be getting this portion as 0 0.14 and this portion as 0 0.14. Okay. So let us find the value of Q1. Why do we need the value of Q1? Let us see. Okay. Because we know whenever the standard deviation is not known or the mean is not known, we have to go for the standardized normal distribution variable. That is the Z distribution. Okay. So, and we know that this portion, this portion is having the probability of 0 0.25. So, I can write that P of C, where C is a normal distribution variable with mean as 0 and the standard deviation as 1. So, the variance is 1 squared. Okay. So, I can write the probability of Z less than or equal to, I can write this as C1, okay, C1 is equal to 0 0.25, okay. So, I can get the value of C1 because the probability is given in form of a decimal number or else I can say that we know the probability. So, I can use the inverse normal function to find the value of Z1. Let us first of all find the value of Z1, okay. So, C1 will be equal to inverse normal. I have to obviously use the calculator. It is menu and I can take probability and then distribution and it is inverse normal. Okay. So, I can write inverse normal. Let me first of all write inverse normal. I have to write this because I have to give my working. How am I getting the answer? So, I'm using the GDC and I'm using the operation inverse normal. Okay. And what am I inputting? The first value that I'll be inputting is the area, which is nothing but the probability. 0 0.25 and it is the less than or equal to probability. Never ever input a greater than probability in area. Okay. And then it will be the mu, which is 0 and the standard deviation sigma equal to 1. But first of all, let me enter the area. It is 0 0.25. Okay. So I am getting the value of Z1 as negative 0 0.6744. Okay. Let me write it. 
equal to negative 0. Point, okay, okay, 6744, 6744, 8, 897. Okay. Fine. Now we have to get, ultimately we have to get the sigma value. That is the question. So I know the relation between the Z distribution and this is D. So D is again a normal distribution variable with the mean as 32 and standard deviation is sigma. So the variance will be sigma square. Okay. So it is Q1. I can write this as D1 also. And I know this relation formula. I can write this as D1 minus mu is 32 over sigma. Okay? And I know the value of C1. So if I know the value of D1, then I can get the value of sigma. So that is why I am saying that I know the median value, it is 32. Okay, and I know this distance is equal to 0 0.14. So I can get the Q1 or the D1 value. Okay, that is why I require the D1 value. So let us get the D1 value. It will be equal to 32 minus 0 0.14. This should be equal to Q1 or equal to D1. Okay, so let us get the value of Q1 or D1. It is 32 minus 0 0.14. So, 32 minus 0 0.14. Enter. 31.86. So, the D1 value is equal to 31.86. Okay. I'm showing this again. 31.86. So, I can substitute this 31.86 value over here. So it is 31.86 minus 32 over sigma. Okay. And Z1, we know this. So basically, sigma will be equal to 31.86 minus 32 over Z1. Clear? So let us get the value of sigma. I'm not writing this entire long one. That is why I am writing Z1 instead of writing this entire number. It is 31.86 minus 32 over Z1. And this is the value of Z1. So let me just go up. Yeah, and I am copying this. I come down and it is control V. See, that is why I did not write this whole long number. And I come up and it is enter. So the sigma is 0 0.20756. 0 0.20756 and all. So, therefore, sigma is equal to up to three significant figures. We have to give the answer up to three significant figures. So, it is 0 Correct up to three significant figures. Okay. Okay. And they have not given any unit for these, but I'm seeing it is D millimeter. So if you want, you can write this millimeter over here. Okay. So we have answered this question completely. Thank you for watching. I am Nilanjana Senyal. I'm an online IB Math, EASL and HL level tutor and I tutor students from both within India and outside India and I offer both 
one-on-one -on -one and small group online tutoring services to my students. In case you are liking my explanation, please do give this video a like and please do share this video with your friends so that even they can get benefited by watching my videos. And Please subscribe to my YouTube channel in case you have not subscribed to my channel till now. It will be motivating me to make more math videos for you. We meet again very soon in our next session. We will be solving the next question of the same paper. Till then, bye.